it's the weekend. I'm having a slow weekend because when you get pregnant, especially in your last trimester, you start to feel more exhausted even by the time you wake up. It's because you don't get that much sleep. I don't know about you, but every pregnancy is different. But as for me, I can't sleep properly anymore because the baby's been kicking so hard. And at the same time, she's too heavy. And it's just hard for me to roll from one side to another. You know what I mean? So, and I pee a lot too, like two, three times when I sleep in one night. So that's that. Yeah, today is Saturday, garage sale. We'll see if we'll find something cute to add to this beautiful home. And another thing is that someone will be, a few people actually will be cleaning our house. We haven't done deep cleaning yet in this house for the past four months. Atigori has been cleaning every day but it's different when someone deep cleans the whole house and there are some areas that she couldn't reach that hopefully they will be able to clean it. And yeah, today we're making pancakes for breakfast. Let's go! Slow mornings, pregnancy diaries of I Love In It vlog. Sunday morning here in Casa Maria. Had a good night's sleep. We tend to only get like six to seven hours of sleep nowadays due to the little baby on the way that's keeping mom and dad awake in the morning. But it's all good. We're just gonna take it super slow this weekend. We have been like pushing so hard for so long and it's it's nice to just wind down. Yeah, start in the morning with some pancakes and Bose coffee. And we recently got the Bose coffee coffee subscription where they send coffee to you every month your door you can also get the iced coffee which I tend to like a lot more yeah I saw you yeah. over there it's just an economical way it's way more affordable than going obviously to coffee shops and you can always have premium coffee at home you also come in different varieties so you have the ground beans and the full beans so depending on what you like I like to grind but they also have this one where it's already finished grinding for you so easier if you want to know more about the Bose coffee subscription how you can get iced coffee straight to your door or regular coffee then check out the link in the description there might be a code for you if you're lucky since you're a Marva subscriber Pancakes. Wow. Yeah. Check out what the lady has made this morning. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm excited for pancakes. Filipino, we need some snacks mm -mm. for the Atis and Kuyas helping us, and also we've given water for all the hard work that they're going to put in in this house because it's a huge house and it's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's yeah. happening? Who are they? Oh, by the way, if you want to book deep cleaning services around Metro Manila, we called BCB. Yeah, and their Instagram is right here. They do condos, houses. I think they even do cars, car washes. Okay. 
sa'yo, oh. Oo, oh, oh, tsaka tubig. I just got back from the grocery and bought some uh, food for Kaila Ate and Kuya making pasta for their lunch. And now they're here in the kitchen and the dining area. And then, hi, Kaila. Hi, Ate. Hi. <laughs> Ayan. So, the big cleaning ko is prepared. Baby cleaning whole stuff is complete with everything that you need for deep cleaning. And super happy kami na talagang mabusisi sila. Maglinis. Sobrang linis, guys. Okay, now it's time to cook. I wanna teach you or I wanna show you how I make an easy pasta recipe. BB cleaning has been probably running around our house here for two, three hours. It's taking a lot of time, but it is so amazing. Like it's, it hasn't been this clean since we moved in. You know, we're talking about we should do this at least twice a year where you get that deep cleaning, like everything. There's just no dust anywhere. Hello. Hi. We're chilling here because they're now at the second floor. They're cleaning the second floor. Yeah. Hi, Lola. No, no, let's chill in here. Chill in here. Yeah. yeah. It's so, it smells so good in here. Right? <laughs> Beautiful. Let's. <laughs> yeah. Let's check out what's going on and what they're doing up here in the bedrooms. Hello. <laughs> check it out. It smells really good. It's like when my grandmother and my mom were cleaning the house when I was a kid. This is Lola's bedroom. Nice, they're also doing the bathrooms. Oh, even in here, on top of there. Oh, wow, that's amazing. In here, you see they're even washing the walls. Like that. No wonder it smells so good. It's just one of those things, you know, over time when you live in a home, you don't think about it, but oh, it builds up this layer of grease on the walls and probably in the restroom. And, you know, it really helps once in a while to get it completely wiped. So that's what we're doing today. It's just uh, kind of like a rebirth, I feel, for the entire team. We've been through some really tough months. Where we've been putting in a lot of work to get to where we are. So I feel like by washing the house, it's almost like a, uh, we're ready for stage two, I would say. Welcome to stage two. So I've been just sitting here this morning, reading, working, love my new desk. Our monitors from Asus, we're really loving them now. Giving us so much more performance because we have two screens to look at. This is Avis and our editor's desk. And then like I've been just staring out the window. So this is one of those hard things in the Philippines, right? You're working and you're looking out the window and it's like this. Pretty much any tropical place, it's like that. And then obviously here we have the pool. This is the balcony from the office, the home office that we have. And I think it's time. It's time that we go down there and just relax. Swim a little bit. I worked hard, now I feel like I've, de I've deserved this weekend. Might, might just bring a book even, you know, read. Time in Casa Marbella and oh look what God. we got. Martin bought this. Yep. Because you know it's a good meat if it doesn't smell like yeah. supermarket. We got this from like Santis Delicatessen, yeah. like a very Shala, nice store. Yeah. Mahala. Super nice Why? store. Because I wanted to celebrate. We haven't had many weekends by ourselves, yeah. just the two of us. And to celebrate my birthday. Mm -hmm. Just the two of us. Yeah. So actually now, this weekend, it's just me and all at home. Yeah, Lola went to my mama's place. Yeah. Jay's on a holiday. Yeah. It's good. Mm -mm. So we're going to be barbecuing and just enjoying our time. The wash with mineral. Yeah. Mineral water. And then I'm going to salt it, Thank season you. it. Yeah. Barbecue time. Yeah.
Hi, Ave. Hello. This is what we prepared. We got some steak. Well done for the bunties, of course. Look at the crisscross. I made sure the crisscross. Martin hasn't done that before. <laughs> Grilled veggies. And then this is Caesar salad. Ooh. The cheese, instead of Parmesan, I use Manchego. Ooh. <laughs> and then rice. <laughs> you gotta have the rice. You gotta yeah. have the rice. Good wine over there. Mm -mm. Some sparkling, sparkling wine for me. water. Uh, sparkling for water. Sorry. We also have ate. Mm -mm. We also ate. have ate. <laughs> mm -mm. So it's time to relax. Yeah. And the moon has been shining for us. Let's enjoy. Enjoy. I think it's time to try the cherry that we bought yesterday. Oh yeah. Bah. And at that stage, he became an adult. It was in this moment that Martin knew. You become an adult, you know, when you really like a chair. Oh my god, my chair, I'm just gonna have my chair, my coffee, my book. Look at the neighbors. This chair is actually really comfortable. I love garage sales, you know why? You get so premium products for such a good price. I'm not saying it's affordable, it really isn't, obviously. But if you can compare that item, that vintage item that you're buying to the price of that same thing in the store, it's like sometimes five times as cheap. It's always around five times as cheap, but I would say like sometimes even 10 times as cheap. Like people are just like, they just want to get rid of some items that they have in their house for 10, 20 years. And kind of like because of some items are evergreen, they won't go out of style, like a nice wooden table. So it's like, it doesn't matter. We can find use for that in our home. Good morning, Coffee Talks with Mark. Excuse me, ma'am. Why is it so relaxing? It doesn't say you can't sit here, so I'm trying it out, you know, for the people who want to buy this. I can attest. That looks comfortable. It is comfortable. The only thing that I don't like, though, is that it's leather. Oh, yeah. You know, when it's leather, you get perspired um, right away. Pull the lever, that's always fun. Wow, <laughs> wow, did not reach. Pull. Hey! <laughs> you can find me here. Uh, <laughs> That's actually pretty chill, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Welcome to my, I would say, studio slash office or slash entertainment room. So this part of the house is, I would say, my part since Martin has his own office going on. We have the bedrooms and guest bedrooms. But this one is dedicated mostly for me. And in the next month or two months, <laughs> this will be converted to our nursery room. The reason why Martin and I decided to make this as a nursery room is that our doctor actually recommended if we have an extra room downstairs to make it into the nursery room instead and for my room. Because now I'm getting bigger, I don't have to go up and down the stairs that much. So so yeah, this will be a whole different setup maybe the next time you see it. So that's why I want to share it with you while it's baby free <laughs> still. Here we have 
like three couches from our modular sofa that we got from Decor by Aya. We've been getting a lot of questions where we got our sofa. So if you want to check out the vlog where they delivered it and when we went to their factory, the vlog is right here. That's the link. And the TV is also here. I've been obsessed with Bossa Nova, like Brazilian samba music as I'm painting. Mind you, I am a self thought. I wouldn't even say I'm an artist. I just do this for fun. And the reason behind it is because once I got pregnant, I don't like using my phone that much and using my laptop because I get super dizzy and just all of the information and too much content from, I don't know, new content creators. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I just get so overwhelmed by it and I get dizzy. Like sometimes the video that I watch three scrolls up is the same from the video when I scroll three times or five times down. Do you get what I mean? So I just feel so overwhelmed by this lately. I don't know, I, I think it's a pregnancy. <laughs> and yeah, I want to stay away from, you know, being so much on my phone and want to express myself creativity wise in a different form not just through vlogs and i think painting makes my head space stress-free and i think painting is one of the things that makes me happy gives me dopamine if that's what you call it and just listening to music and not a care in the world i guess and um, yeah i think that's one of the reasons why i really enjoy it i bought also some new things for the art piece that i'm doing so i don't like showing my artwork to people because i just don't think it's good enough <laughs> and i don't consider it a as a like a really good one an expression of myself and i want to keep it all to myself and my family members and you know my friends who comes here i don't think i am ready to show it to the social media because there's a lot of criticisms and i don't want to hear that i do it for fun and once i hear any negativity towards my art i feel like i won't continue it anymore and this is what makes me happy so yeah, I'm just naman ako. These are the stuff that I got. I bought more neutral colors. I paint using acrylic, and this one is like fluoro acrylic set. So it's like a color, metallic colors. Mm -mm. It's only a few. I'll um, play with this today. I'm gonna experiment with something called plaster because I want more texture for this painting. Uh, I don't actually know what this is. Um, a palette knife. <laughs> See, I don't even know what these things are called. I'm just learning throughout the process. You know, every art piece is different for me and I've been learning a lot from it. So I bought more neutral colors. I've got a silver because the painting that I'm doing right now is like a family portrait, a future family portrait. And my vision for this is that we are the Soul Huggins family is a very colorful, quirky, fun family in a world of boringness, <laughs> I would say. So long story short, we're, we're pretty different. We're crazy. We're a crazy family and not a lot of people understands us that's okay because we do 100 percent our own thing and we just don't give up you know and i got more palettes because like i said i'm experimenting with textures right now so yeah i guess yeah that's that's it that i bought basically i'm pretty excited about this one specifically because i haven't done this before actually i haven't painted this much before when i was a kid i painted my bedroom wall with poster paint um, my mom really helped me out with that thank you mama for you know supporting me on that but at the end of the mural, that I, as I'm doing the mural, she was like, we have no more budget because paints are expensive, you know. But I appreciate my mom for doing that to me. Okay. This is the cart situation right now. I try my best to put everything on top 
because <laughs> I can easily reach it. Honestly, I don't care if it's messy. I think it looks aesthetic. There is a mosquito killer here because sometimes it gets too mosquito-y. I turned it off, but these ones are air purifier because sometimes the air quality here is not as good, especially when I'm painting. Oh, by the way, these are all the gifts that we got from the baby shower. And the reason why we didn't put it upstairs anymore is because like I said, this will be our future nursery room. So that's that. We still have a long way to go with the baby stuff. We need a crib, a drawer for the baby changing station. And mostly that's it. I'm very happy that my friends gave us important things for a newborn baby. And to be honest, I was actually, I didn't really expect for them to know about these things, but I'm very surprised. Oh, by the way, I bought these from a garage sale. It's uh, bed sheets, so I'm and I made it because it's very inexpensive, and I made it to a for my painting. Para hindi tumutulo yan. That's it. That's the room, and it'll be different in the next two months. I just want to share it with you because I'm very happy. Whenever I'm here, I spend most of my time in this room every day watching videos listening to music than any other room uh for some reason my love of cooking it only happens like once or twice a week <laughs> but uh, i'm trying my best you know that is a pregnancy i don't want to be too exhausted as well because i want to have this um i just want to have fun while i'm pregnant you know people ask me how was your pregnancy i would say the first four months is <laughs> I wasn't myself the first four months, but I gotta come back after the fifth month and then the rest of the month. Right now I'm approaching my eighth month and I'm so sorry if I feel like I run a marathon while talking to you guys because my gosh. It's inevitable. Yeah, thank you for watching this vlog. I know it's um like a chill short vlog. Let me know if you want to see more of the things that I do. While I'm pregnant, I'm so happy that BB Cleaning Co. was able to do a deep cleaning after four or five months of living here in Casa Marbella. And after, especially after the party, the baby shower and my birthday party. So it was really just in time for my parents and my family set birthday after birthday celebration what you, yeah because my parents were in japan that's the reason why they're not here with us during the party but you know what i absolutely appreciate how my family really makes time for us and visit because it gives me more energy to see them and like and then we're also happy to be hosting them. I, I'll give you a story. So my dad yesterday, he was, so my dad was sleeping here. My aunt was sleeping here. My sister is sleeping here. So they have their own space. They have their own space. My grandma was outside chilling with my mom and my brother and my husband, my cousin was chilling by the pool. So I love that we were able to create the space and make everyone feel so welcome, you know, and that's what we want to have once the baby is out is for her to be surrounded by good energy and people that I love we love so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching this vlog I hope you like it let me know if you want more pregnancy diaries and more not tips or things that I've been doing preparing for the baby maybe that's the next video let me know in the comment section what do you want to see and know more about okay I love you all Ooh, I got I got so exhausted just by talking. Love you all. Bye.